Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the month of June. This is not old energy. This is something that is coming in June. You may have already experienced it because sometimes people repeat their same mistakes. So let's just see what comes up for Aquarius for the month of June 2020. We're going to start right here. What do we have for Aquarius for June? True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. So that is wonderful. It is wonderful. So you may be connecting with somebody that, you know, is your true love. By the looks of things, this is a true love. Let's get a couple of these. This is June, remember? We're talking about June. For some of you, you may be, I'm just being honest with you, you may be in something right now that's not. And in June, you meet your true love. I, 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 you know, it is what it is. Maybe you've met your true love, but you're in the wrong thing and you need to break free from it. You know who this person is, period. If you're single and you don't know, you're going to be meeting them soon. If you're ready. Not everybody will because some people aren't ready. They aren't looking for love. Even if you're not looking for love, you could still meet them. But if you don't want it, you don't want it. It's that simple. You get to choose. Coins. Money will be coming to you soon. So money. Fantastic. Everybody wants that, right? But I do know, and I know this is true. I do know this is true. Axe. You got to give somebody the axe. You know it. And I know it. And I don't mean in a physical manner. Okay? I don't mean in a physical manner. I mean in the way that, you know, you need to cut somebody out of your life that isn't serving you. And you know who it is. That's a metaphor, okay? Not condoning any kind of physical anything. Stork. News of a birth or a new business opportunity. So there's good news coming. Okay. Compliments from an admirer. I know this is what this is, too. There's a new love here. I know it. I know it. I've seen it a long time. What do we have for Aquarius for June? Ooh, Four of Wands reverse. Some of you are in a commitment or a marriage or a situation right now that you're not happy. There's a discontent. There's lack of happiness. There's yet lack of unity. There's uh, it's uncomfortable. There's some sort of tension. Some of you are in a commitment right now that you don't want to be in and you want to walk away. Somebody is, is going to be walking away or they're thinking about it hard because there's just no love there. It's, there's a lack of, it's unrequited love. I think it is. It's an unrequited love situation. It's a one-sided situation. And I feel like you see an opportunity for happiness, a great happiness. It's like you're, you, there's a big opportunity for love here, and I think you want it. You want it. I don't know if some of you are dealing with somebody who's in the restaurant business or they're an entertainer of some sort. This person, um, there's a bar here, something to do with the bar. Somebody may own a bar or be part of a bar. Um, there's an opportunity. Maybe you've met, meet somebody at a bar. We're talking about June here. This is, it could be a bar owner. Um, it doesn't have to be whoever this person is. Um, you know, he's going to be grabbing on to an opportunity for love, but in order to grab onto it, some, some other situation that is unfulfilling needs to be let go. I mean, we saw that, you know, ax and it's a metaphor, you know, you use an ax to cut things out, right? So there's an opportunity for wish fulfillment here, but you're going to have to move on. That's moving on. That is moving on. That is literally 
you know, moving from one place to another. Somebody probably needs to move. Queen of Pentacles reverse could be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn doesn't have anything of value to offer. This person is uh, jealous, suspicious, possessive, uh, doesn't have any money, doesn't work very hard, uh, is uh, not a very good homemaker, uh, maybe boastful. This person um, it could be a financial mess. Uh, waste money is very insecure. This person may be spending your money, costing you money, or uh, it's like you want to turn your back on this person, okay? And I feel like you want to turn your back on this person because you're looking for something more emotionally fulfilling. I think you're just ready to move on, but you're probably in some sort of commitment with this person. And that doesn't have to be an earth sign. It's somebody that is possessive, uh, very much uh, financially unstable. This person is financially unstable. They don't have anything to offer really. Um, and I feel like there's two nine of cups in this deck. That's interesting. Um, there's an opportunity for happiness and you want it. You want it. You see an opportunity for extreme happiness. I think they labeled this wrong. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is the Ten of Cups. It says the Nine of Cups, but it's the Ten of Cups. It is. So the, it's like you see an opportunity for wish fulfillment. But the only way to get it is to let go of this person that is unstable, that is insecure, that is possessive and jealous and doesn't have anything of value to add. So you're dealing with somebody who doesn't work very, they're not putting in much effort. They're really lazy. There's definite jealousy issues here. It's like you're in a one-sided situation and it's, it's, it's rough. It's rough. And I feel like you see a bigger opportunity and you're going to be walk, turning your back. Somebody is turning your, their back on this insecure individual who doesn't really put in any effort into the relationship. They're not putting any effort into it. It's not, there's not a whole lot of happiness here, but there's an opportunity for happiness. But if you, one person isn't really doing their part, then, you know, you got a one-sided relationship here. So I think Aquarius that you're going to, somebody's moving on. This is in the future, right around the corner. Somebody is moving. It's like they see a bigger opportunity for love. They've been in a loveless situation where there's been a lot of emotions, probably tears, probably heartache, whatever. And they're moving on from it. It's time for a change time for peace. It's time for harmony. This is accepting change, allowing and accepting change. It's like this comes after the death card. So something is ending for sure. And you're, you're going to be moving into a better place. So somebody's moving to a better place. That's what I see. So somebody is literally moving, put it that way. They get this opportunity that could make them very, very happy. Um, Ah, oh, the lovers reverse. Somebody's in a false contract, though. Lovers reverse. The false contract is they're, they're just not compatible with this person. Maybe a sexual connection. You know, it's just a, it's just a sexual connection. <laughs> I gotta be honest with you. Um, you know, there's conflict. There's disharmony. There's there's a one sidedness with the lovers reverse, which I already told you. So I think there's going to be a separation. I do. I mean, I'm being honest. I think there's going to be a separation because there's a bigger opportunity for love. I feel like you feel it. I feel like you know it. You have an admirer. You've been uh, neglecting to let this person in because of the current commitment that you're in or you're admiring this person or whatever. There's another admirer here. You are probably in some sort of commitment with somebody and you can't move forward, but you're dreaming of this other person all the time. You know, and you want to move on. You want to be with this person. It's the only person you can think about, but you got this situation that needs to be dealt with. You're only punishing yourself. You're punishing yourself. You're sacrificing yourself. You're wasting your time with somebody who it doesn't appear like they love you or something. I mean, 
Ace of Cups is reversed. They may have some sort of need for you. Maybe you take care of them. But whatever. That's just a need. That's not love. Maybe you take care of them financially or whatnot or whatever. Anyway, this is moving away from a false contract. This is a false contract. So somebody's moving away from a false contract. Where are they going? Oh, King of Cups towards love. The King of Cups is, is somebody that is very feeling. Somebody that is very charming. Somebody that is very romantic. Somebody that is really looking for love. They're headed towards love. This is love. Somebody that is, is has a big heart. So somebody is moving towards somebody that has a really big heart. Because that's what's desirable. So there is um, some movement that is happening in June. And it's moving away from a one-sided, unrequited love situation that you have been in with a person perhaps for, I don't know, sex or an ego boost or something like that. But it's over. I feel like it is definitely over. There's no love here. There's a, there, it's very emotional. I think that walking away is, is very evident here. Somebody's going to be turning their back on somebody that is very possessive, jealous, insecure, doesn't have anything of value to add, doesn't have any money, doesn't work hard enough, doesn't put in a lot of effort into the relationship, wants to play, wants to drink, wants to have fun, but that's about, they can't really offer anything. Doesn't really put in effort, you know. Wants you to do all the work. So I feel like you're going to be moving towards something more emotionally fulfilling. And I think it's going to happen um, probably in June. These are both sixes. Or they are. I mean, this could go vice versa. Somebody is moving. The Six of Swords is moving towards love. Somebody that is more emotionally available. Somebody that's looking for love. It has a big heart. So there's definitely a true love here. Okay? And I think that you know who this person... I feel like you already know who this person is. For a lot of you. Whether it's for you or the person that you're dealing with. Somebody is moving towards a true love. Whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with. Somebody is moving towards a true love. That's what I got. Good luck.